In this video, we're going to look at Arista multi-command. I'm going to be showing you three different ways to run show commands on your Arista switch and to get outputs from those show commands at the same time. Now you may ask yourself, why would I need to do this? So let's think about a troubleshooting workflow. Let's say you're trying to troubleshoot a problem with a link. Generally, there's a specific list of steps you follow. There are certain show commands that you need to run at each step. So for example, you may want to collect LLDP neighbors you may want to collect the running config on that interface. You may also want to uh, monitor the interface statistics as well on that interface. So instead of running those th three different commands one at a time, you could run those three commands at the same time and get the outputs at the same time. Right? So it's just one way to kind of make your troubleshooting workflow easier. So I'm going to show you three different ways. I'm going to start with the more kind of harder way to do it, if, as it were, and then we'll look at the semi-hard way to do it and then we'll look at the easiest way to do it in my opinion. So let's start with aliases. So what I could do is I could create an alias, right? So I'm gonna say config t alias, and we're gonna call this alias, say multi-command, right? So you could call it whatever you want to, but I'll just call it multi-command. And then I could say the first command in this alias is gonna run show interface et3, and the second command is gonna execute show run interface et3, and let's say I want to look at the LDP neighbors as well in that interface, right? So now I've created my alias. So to execute this alias, I could just run multi-command and all three commands are executed at the same time. And then I can view the output of those commands at the same time as well, okay? So that's the first um, way to implement multi-command. So now I'm gonna show you a second way to do it. And then finally, I'll show you my favorite way to do this, kind of the easiest way in my opinion. So the second way is to use fastCLI. So if you're comfortable using bash, you could say bash fastCLI, and then I could say minus P15 minus C, and then I could specify the command I would like to run just before my dollar sign. So I'm gonna say show, show interface ET3. Um, I also want to run show running config interface ET3. And then also show LLDP neighbors, just like the last time. And then I think that's pretty much it. Then I hit enter. So there's a problem. It doesn't like um, something, right? So I think I can only use single um, quotes instead of double quotes. So I'm going to change that. Um, so we're going to go here and then we're going to delete this. And we're going to delete that as well. Yeah, so there we go. Um, so you can see there's another way to run um, multiple commands on Arista EOS using fast CLI. It's a bit finicky. Um, you can't use um, double codes. You have to use single codes to enclose your commands. And you can see this just means new line. So I'm gonna run this command. And on the next line, I'm gonna run this command. And then the next line, I'm gonna run this command, right? So this is the second way to do it using fast CLI. Now I'm gonna show you my favorite way to run this type of operation on Arista EOS. Okay, so um, I prefer to use the run command. So there's actually an inbuilt command called run, and you can separate those commands by semicolon. So you can say run show interface et3, and then I have semicolon, and then I say show run interface et3, and then I have another semicolon, and I say show IP, or show LDP enables, I should say, as we've been doing in the past examples. And then I hit enter. Right, so this is another way to do this. Oh, it doesn't like my show LLDP neighbors for some reason. So yeah, I shouldn't have this here. So you basically want to have run, and then you specify the first command, then the colon, a semicolon I should say, second command, another semicolon, and you can keep going on and on and on. Right, so I could also add here, say show version if I wanted to. Right, so that's it. I have my show version output, I have my show LLDP enable output, show running config on the interface, and also the show interface output. So that's the end of this video. Um, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel, share with anybody that may be interested. And just as a reminder, I have a training program or a training course in May, so the first week of May. Um, so if you're interested in that course, um, a link to sign up would be in the description. It's a three-day training course and we're going to go in depth in a lot of Arista topics. So I hope this video was useful for you. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you another time.